I told you, like I said earlier, we have 12 musical keys. So any piece of song or any piece of music, we have their own specific key. So you have to understand. But how do we understand that? Now, on the music staff, after you have your treble clef or maybe bass clef, whatever clef is on it, you will have your key signature. That means how many sharp or how many flat they put there with the timing. So we get into that. Then you now have your time signature. The next tutorial will be on time signature, but here we are having key signature. So now on the on uh, the key signature is grouped into two. We have the one of sharp series. Those are the ones that have sharps in them when you are constructing their scale. And we have the one that they are flat series. Those are the ones that have flat when you are constructing the scale. All right, so let's start with the C major. Like we said earlier in the previous video, on the C major scale, there's no sharp. There's just C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and back to C. But for the G, you remember when we check out the staff also, G has one sharp, and that sharp is on top of F. On the previous video, we talked about that. So G scale has one sharp, and that sharp is on F sharp. Then the next one is D. D has two sharps, one on F sharp, and one on C sharp. A has three sharp, one on F sharp, one on C sharp, then on G sharp. Another on E, we have four sharps. We have F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. And on B, we have five sharp. F, C, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. And for the key of F, of course, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, and E sharp. And on the C, we have seven sharps. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp. So in the later video, we'll be constructing each one of them on the musical piece so that you can have better understanding instead of all these sharp, 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 sharp everywhere. All right, for the flat series, the F major has one flat and that flat is on B flat. So if you are constructing a F major, F, G, A, B, C, D, E and back to uh, F. So you have your flat on the B. The reason why is because like we said, when you are constructing your any major scale, you have to use that tone, tone, semitone, tone, 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 semitone. That's the formula. So when you apply that, when you start from F and you want to get to the higher F, if you apply that formula, there's no how you not have your B flat in the middle. All right, so that's that for that. So B flat, which is the next key has two flats one on b flat the the key you are playing and another one on the f making it f flat and the key of e flat we have three flats one on b flat one on e flat and one on a flat and the key of a he has four flats one on b flat e flat a flat and d flat and the key of d we have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, D flat. There's a key of G flat, but because you are still in grade one, as we continue, you will understand all these other uh, other keys. So um, we're going to have all the keys on the staff so that you can understand. If you are looking at a piece of music, how can you understand what is the key of the piece? By the time we arrange those. Uh, the sharp and the flat series on the staff, you'll be able to have a quick understanding of which key you have on your piece as you'll be learning to sight read, sight sing, or sight play any of your instruments. So, they were talking about key signature, key signature series. So, how do you understand when you have a music piece? How do you understand which key or what key the song or the music is in? So, for the C, on your piece, you will not have any sharp or any flat. That indicates that you are having a C major key. And here I put A minor. That is like the relative minor of C major. So if you have your C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and C. So there's what we call the relative minor, the relative major. So C is the major key, but A is the minor. So we have C, D. That's when you where we get to where we understand the degree of music so but every uh sixth the every sixth one two three four five six the sixth of the uh alphabet or the sixth of the pitch or the notes of the scale is always the minor so 
for the one of C major, we have A minor. For the one of G, we have E minor. We talk about that one later as we continue in the tutorial. So, for the key of C major, there is no sharp. You remember for the G major, I said there is one sharp, and that sharp is located on the line of F. In the key of D major, we have only two sharp. One is on F sharp, and one is on the C sharp. This key, the key of A major, we have three. One is on a, uh, F sharp, on C sharp, then on G sharp. All of the sharp, they will be arranged the way, just like this one, now we have it on F sharp. Now, when we continue, we have this one on F sharp and we have this one on C sharp, just like the series. In A, we have F sharp first, C sharp, then G sharp. As you are adding the new sharp, that's how you keep extending the, where you are, where each of these sharps are located. So also for E major, we have the first sharp on F, the C, the G, and your D. For B major, we have your F sharp, your C sharp, your G sharp, your D, and your A. And for the key of F sharp, you have F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp. You have your A and we have your E. And for the key of C sharp, you have your F sharp, C sharp, your G sharp. The um, Right here we have our D, we have our A, we have our E, and then we have our B. In the uh, flat series, F has only one flat and that flat is located on the B flat so if you have your E remember that G A B so we have B flat there and the minor of uh, uh, F major is D minor so like I said we get to that later on so on the B flat you also have your B flat then you now have your E flat and on the E flat you have B flat E flat then you have A flat which is the next key A flat we have our B flat, our E flat, our A flat, then our D flat, which is the next key. All right, so that, that. So sometimes when you have your piece, you're kind of, in case maybe you are, you are seeing a piece like this now, that is uh, having four sharps. How do you understand? Sometimes the way me I used to say, I, I put it then is that I know that the first sharp is with G, so I say, good daddy always eats bread football club don't mind me that's how i used to remember it then when i started learning and i used for the flash i say facebook every afternoon doll that's how i used to understand it you can give it any name you want so that you can quickly understand and another way you can understand is that for example for the key let's take the key of uh let me first of all explain for the key of uh g now the f sharp is the note that is next you know that we have two semitones one on your first second your third and your fourth and the last one from your uh seventh to the eighth so the seventh note is what you will use to know that so now f is the seventh note to g and the sharp is placed on the f so now i can understand that this is f sharp and the key will be g now on the last note here this is f and this is c on the piano illustration that i give to you that time C, then there's a sharp note in between C and D. So now, having that we have C and there is sharp on, on, the, uh, on the note here, so that means the key will be D. Let me quickly draw the piano for you so that you can get what I'm saying. All right, so let's say this is it now. Um, yep. Oh, sorry. Now, I have to draw another one here. All right. So let's say this is our C. This is our D. Okay, then E will be here now. All right, so this is C and this is D. Now, I know that this is C sharp. And C, after C sharp, the next thing is D. So that makes me to understand that, okay, the key that we are talking about here will be D. For here, the last alphabet here is what? Is G. So G sharp, after G sharp, the next one is A. So my key is A major. Now for the B flat, for the flat series, how you can get to understand that is that, when you look at it, the first key in the flat series is F major, and the flat is on B. Now the next key is B flat. Now we, the B flat, of course the key is B flat, so there's a flat on, on, the, on the, uh, the line of B. The next one we have here is 
E flat. So the E flat is like the fourth. If you are calculating from your B, C, D, E. All right, so it's like the fourth. One, two, three, four. So the next key is E flat. We still understand the circle of fourth, the circle of fifth as the tutorial goes on. But for here now, for, uh, for this part, just understand and if you can memorize it, like I said, I give it as good daddy always eat bread. Uh, every uh, good daddy always eat bread football club you can choose that to always remember that or you can just use the explanation i've given to you so let's move to the next 